time to take the off shoulder sleeve measurement okay the off shoulder sleeve measurement now when it comes to off shoulder sleeve you have to take some certain things into consideration so as to get the sleeve perfectly well what all i'm trying to say is is that this measurement will help you to get a perfect off shoulder sleeve not the type of sleeve that after cutting it to be too wide or it to be too tight okay so now to quickly take this measurement all you need is one take your um, across front measurement and how do i take this across front measurement place your tape room like so to this edge and this serves as your um across front measurement and you see this is your across front measurement now having taken that measurement it takes us to the next one and what's the next measurement that is across back measurement so i'll just turn this mannequin like so so now to take the second measurement which is the across back measurement all you need to do is from this end to from this point just take it to the other edge like so and this will be your across back measurement okay um in as much as the mannequin is just an imitation of the human body it is not exactly the human body so just make sure you take it like this on your clients okay so whatever the answer is you write it down as your across back measurement so that being said takes us to the third measurement and what's this third measurement and that's um the round shoulder measurement now to take this round shoulder measurement so all i need to do is just take my tempo as you can see and like so make sure it is well aligned and fitted Make sure it is well aligned. Can you see? And make sure it is well aligned and fitted. Can you see? Do not dip your hand into it. Do not dip your hand into it. Okay? Just make sure it is well fitted. Adjust it. Check the back. So here I have 39. So I will take in the round shoulder measurement to be 39 inches. So all I need to do is deduct the um, across front measurements plus the across back measurement from the 39 inches. Okay, because um, the essence of this is to determine the exact sleeve um, um, width. Okay, the exact sleeve um, size. That would contain the sleeve because i do not want a situation whereby the sleeve will be too wide or too too tight okay so if i add my across front and across back which is 12 12 will give me 24 inches so 24 inches minus um sorry i'm going to deduct 24 inches from 39 inches and that will give me 15 inches so what i'm trying to say is that my right sleeve and my left sleeve will be 15 inches that's from here from here that's from here to here from here to here and from here to here will be 15 inches so because i am going to cut two sleeves so i'm going to divide the 15 inches by two which will give me 7.5 what this means is that from this point to the back is going to be 7.5 like so going to be 7.5 exactly let me show us and turn this slightly so what i'm trying to say is that from this point this is from this one inch back here will be 7.5 so this is it from here to this part it will be 7.5 can you see this is exactly 7.5 
so this is how to get your off shoulder sleeve perfectly well okay what am i trying to say here what i'm trying to say is to get your sleeve to get your sleeve you deduct your front uh, uh, across front across back measurement from your round shoulder measurement okay because what i'm trying to say if i add the 15 inches plus this 25 uh, um, 24 inches of across front and across back i'm going to get my round shoulder measurement my round shoulder measurement okay so it comprises of your right sleeve your left sleeve your across front measurement and your across back measurement i repeat your round shoulder measurement comprises your right sleeve your left sleeve your across front measurement and the across back measurement so this is how to perfectly measure your off shoulder sleeve now i'm going to show us i'm going to proceed to show us the drafting on paper so that we'll be able to cut it on our fabric so let's proceed me take my um calculations on paper okay so we understand it better so what i was just trying to say there was get the depth of the 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 depth you took off on the off shoulder blouse okay you at that point you use it to take the shoulder um the round shoulder measurement that's your shoulder circumference and for this person is um 39 round shoulder circumference that's round shoulder circumference according to the depth i took 39 okay now the across front is um that's round shoulder sorry round shoulder measurement is 39 across front across front is um 12 inches then the across back across the a b is 12 inches so what this means is that it will be across front plus across back will give me 12 plus 12 which is 24 inches now i'm going to deduct this 24 inches from this 39 so it will be 39 minus 24 which automatically gives me 15 inches now, I'm not just going to stop at this 15 inches. You know why? Because what this means is that this 15 inches is for the both sleeves. Just like as I explained in the video, I said to get your, your round shoulder measurement comprises of your across front, across back, your um, two sleeves, the right sleeve and the left sleeve. I repeat, your round shoulder measurement comprises of comprises your across front your across back your right sleeve and your left sleeve now these 15 inches i have gotten i'm not going to measure these 15 inches because this 15 inches is for the two sleeves the right and the left sleeve okay this is the round shoulder measurement this is the across front and across back added together now something is missing in this in this list is the two sleeves which is the round and um, the left and the right sleeve now this 15 inches comprises of the left and the right sleeve now to measure one piece this sleeve now to measure it here i need to divide this 15 into two because this is one part of the sleeve okay so it will now be 15 divided by 2 will now be 7 7.5 so what this means is that to get my off shoulder sleeve perfectly well on this pattern i need to measure 7.5 in total that means from here to here 7.5 But because this fabric, but because the paper is going to be on fold, okay? Because it's going to be on fold, it means I, I also divide this further by 2. So that will give me 7.5 divided by 2. That will give me 3.75. 
3.75 is in decimal form so i need to convert it to fraction it will give me three three quarter of an inch so this is what i am going to measure on my sleeve now to accurately measure this three three quarter inch on this sleeve all you need to do is draft out your basic sleeve like this if you do not know how to draft out this basic sleeve kindly refer back to my previous video because i did a comprehensive tutorial on how to cut a perfect basic sleeve now the length of the sleeve you want depends totally on you if you want it to be short maybe like um Maybe you want it just a small sleeve, you want it 3 inches, you want it to be short, that means the sleeve you will measure will be short. If you want it maybe 10 inches, it depends on you. I'm talking about the length. If you want it to be 12 inches, if you want it to your elbow region, your off shoulder to get to the elbow region, that is up to you. If you want it long sleeve, that is totally up to up to you so next thing i'm gonna do is to quickly get the three three quarter inch please do not make that mistake do not make the mistake to come here and measure your three three quarter inch do not make the mistake okay so all you need to do is come here Take your tape rule, curve it like this. Let it go according to the curve here. As you can see, my front sleeve and the back sleeve are not the same. Okay? So, place it like so and go with the back sleeve. So, I'll just measure my 3 3 quarter inch. That's almost 4 inches. Like so. I hope we can see this just carefully go with it so that's where it is and boom I'll mark it so once you mark it here next thing all I need to do is just take my ruler place it where the mark is and cut and draw a straight line like so so this means this is where i will be cutting off okay so this is where i'll be cutting off can you see that it is not much if i'm taking it directly from the top to measure my three three quarter inch probably it would have been somewhere around here to chop it off so it will definitely not make sense to do that so next thing is just to open it up and you have your off shoulder sleeve perfectly set so because this is pattern if it if we if you were to measure directly on the fabric that means you need extra half inch here to join to the band you are going to attach on the off shoulder you also need half inch on the sides to attach see what i'm saying you need half inch here that's when you are transferring to fabric now you need half inch here half inch here half inch here and that's all so your off shoulder sleeve is perfectly set it is just as easy as a b c this is the perfect way to cut your off shoulder sleeve that brings us to the end of this tutorial